I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh** I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh** So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Of being incompetent Mental health is confidence Dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day That's for you to take away I could play a million mind games But instead I say Something not illogical Something that is typical Rub it on and watch it go Make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible But they're always possible If you just believe You could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head A collage and they spread I'll be great one day Going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up No, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top Taking off in the wind I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages I'm faking, modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back It's your boy PBK9 Giving you that dog talk The way I always do Fair and unbiased Some gonna like it some ain't y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button before you get up out of here hit that notification bell as well don't forget to drop down in them comments and salute to all the brothers and sisters down in the chat salute to my brothers that came down in the chat on soon as the video dropped some of my brothers that was up in the chat before the video dropped you know Big shouts out to all the Bulldogs and dog lovers from one side of the country to the other side of the country. Pelican Bay Dog TV, giving it to you the way I always do. Let's get into it for the day. All right, we got some dog talk, dog news. But first, I want to send a big shout out to Brother Red Bobby. You know, running that stuff, coming down off that May 2 stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I want to send a big shout out to Brother Jay's Moonlight and Nephew's Bulldog. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to my brothers. You know, we about to get into that dog talk, man. We got some things to talk about. We got some news. You know what I'm saying? But first, first thing I want to do, no, you know, is we're going to go to a dog fighting situation. Dog fighting bus in Baldwin. Uh, I forgot what part of the United States that's in, but we about to check it out. You know what I'm saying? We about to check it out. A dog fighting bus in Baldwin. The thing about this one is we got 25 malnutritious dogs. See, we're going to speak on that a little bit. Don't get these dogs if you can't take care of them. You know what I'm saying? It don't hurt. You're not less of a dog, man, because you got 25 and go down to 15, go down to 10. You know what I'm saying? Only keep what you can take care of. It don't matter about you having what all 30 and 40 and 100 dogs if they're not being taken care of. At the end of the day, you can't give all them dogs your attention. You know what I'm saying? And you want 100% out your dog, you got to be able to get them, give them attention. It's just plain out and simple if you want 100% out of them. You know what I'm saying? All that plays a part. 100% out of a dog means bonding time. It means attention outside of whatever you call bonding. It means everything in order to get 100%. 100% means he's going to get 100% from you as well. You're not going to give that dog 2% and think you're going to get one, 100% from them. And this is the situation we in. You know what I'm saying? We got 25 malnutritious dogs. Suspected dog fighting bus. We're going to watch the videos like I always tell y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all check it out. 
We're going to talk about it, you know, give our opinions on it, and just lay it down. PBK, PBK style. Let's get into it. Baldwin County deputies charged a man with animal cruelty after they seized more than two dozen pit bulls from a home. Cecily Stout went to the scene to find out more. Baldwin County sheriffs say Travis Myrick was arrested at this home on 2nd Street Monday night. Deputies went around to the backyard to find dogs and kennels and cages with no air or water. There were more dogs found in plastic carriers inside the home. The sheriff's office said several dogs had injuries that may be related to dog fighting and they showed signs of severe neglect. Myrick is in the Baldwin County Jail and is currently being charged with dog fighting and obstructing officers, but he may face more charges. In Baldwin County, Cecily Stout, 13 WMAZ News. If you suspect animal abuse or neglect in your neighborhood, you can call your local animal control or your local sheriff's office. If you suspect a business that's involved with animal cruelty, you can check to see if the business is licensed under the State Department of Agriculture. Cruelty to animals is a misdemeanor under state law and can carry a prison sentence of one year and a fine of $1,000 for the first offense. Now, in this situation, them folk probably wonder what you was doing with the dogs if you wasn't feeding them. That's why they probably say this is a possible suspected dog fighting situation because now they, they like, what the hell was you doing with the dogs? You know, uh, we, we're not saying we found books or we're not saying we found um, this and that over here. We found a bunch of screwed up dogs, a bunch of malnutritious dogs, 25 of them. Anybody who's willing to keep that many dogs and can't take care of them brings up the question when the people get you. It automatically, common sense, them people going to ask you, why are you keeping this many dogs if you can't take care of them? You see? Why keep 25 dogs if you're going to have them skinny? So you must got a, another motive for them. That's what them people looking at. You know, they see you got okay now if you had a yard full of nice looking dogs and maybe one or two of them scratched up it might skip over the malnutrition part and go straight to the dog fighting you know but they never you know it, it, it was a malnutritious situation that led to dog fighting you know they really have no other choice but to say what you what you using them dogs for you know some like i said before sometimes some of the situations we put ourselves in like I said before, sometimes some of the reactions we get from the situations are self-inflicted. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when you got dogs that look like this, when you got dogs that look like that, only thing you can expect is and hope for is nobody else sees them dogs outside of you. You know, if anybody sees them dogs, they're liable to call the police on you. I'm talking about any type of person come to your house, bill collectors, anything, trash man, when they see dogs look like that, they might call the police on you or give a tip or whatever, you know, and you really can't blame nobody but yourself when your dogs look like that. Just give them to somebody. Get rid of them. If you can't take care of them, just plain out and simple. But here go another video off that same clip. In Baldwin County, deputies are investigating a possible dog fighting and animal cruelty case. They've seized 25 dogs and arrested 42 year old Travis Myrick. He's charged with animal cruelty and obstruction. Deputies went to a home at 108 2nd Street to serve an unrelated warrant and found kennels in a closed building with no water or air circulation. Several dogs were in plastic carriers, some injured and had signs they'd been involved in dog fighting. They looked as if they've been neglected now my dog brothers let's talk about dark society dark society where you at we talking about you today right see everything if you really really pay attention i tell y'all brothers pay attention okay you remember when pro say they, they slipped up and threw dark society on the news by accident they slipped up and did all that they put all that stuff and they put the wrong person on the news right Okay, it's, a, it's liable to be a whole lot of truth to that. I'm going to tell you why I say that. Pay attention, pay attention. Indianapolis dog fighting bus, all over the news. Drug, you know, it had to do with drugs and everything else, but that's all over the news. Word was, they accidentally, the news accidentally put dark society on the front of the news. You know, that wasn't supposed to happen. 
you know his picture accidentally got put up there okay now just a couple weeks later biggest dog bus in south carolina second biggest dog bus in south carolina but this time they made sure news didn't get involved with the situation because the news screwed it up last time by putting dark society on the front of the front of the news you know they screwed it up last time so this time they made sure nobody know what's going on and that way it won't be no people getting flashed across the screen accidentally you know what i'm saying accidentally and it just seemed that way to me because if you look at it and pay attention now you see how they had that last one all over the news from indiana now the south carolina they still ain't got it on the news yet still don't got it on the news yet and yet everybody was saying it was an accident they threw dark society up by accident you know they threw them up there by accident. Now, this time, two weeks later, blackout on the news. Total blackout. They won't have that problem again. There won't be no accidents. Nobody's slipping up. They don't supposed to be on that front front uh, TV screen again. So they stay black on the news. But there's so many different news outlets when it comes to South Carolina. North Carolina, anywhere. So many different news outlets. You never know uh, who going to get the news. You know, everybody. And one thing about being a journalist, you got to have your own connects. You got to have your own sources and stuff like that. People that you can get reliable information from. You know what I'm saying? Reliable information from. And these days, you know, we in the, we in the era of AI. We in the computer era where you can get a lot of the stuff off the computer. So, um. Yeah, it just seemed mighty funny that, just like Pro say, Dark Society, he was talking all that trash about he got rum dogs, about he got this, about he got that, about he going to pay somebody to come to my house. He looking for my house. He trying to hurt my family. Posting on Facebook. He gets somebody a thousand dollars to do this, a thousand dollars to do that. Now, Dark Society, Dark Society jumped the box. He ran. But you can't run because we got a lasso on you. Pull you back over here, boy. Get back over here. Get your ass back over here. And we got to figure out what's going on. You know? War Eagle. Rest in peace to brother War Eagle. You know? He done passed away. You know? Maybe you could tell that story now. Because you slipped up and, and say you was involved with brother Harry Hargrove bus. Indianapolis. They put you on the front cover of their bus. Accidentally, now South Carolina got a, a media blackout on their bus. Dark Society, I know you hear me out there, boy. I ain't off your ass yet. You know, it is, is what it is. Would you want to see your picture up there? Would you want me to snap? Mm, drop that picture back down? It is what it is, though, man. You just got to pay attention to this game. Pay attention to these dog, so-called dog folk out here that make sure they don't get you in a, a situation or a spot, you know what I'm saying, that you don't want to be in. Because there's a lot of brothers out here that don't need to be in the dog game. You know what I'm saying? Don't need to be in the dog game. I can say it once. I can say it twice. You know, it don't make no difference. They don't need to be in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just plain out and simple. Just because you hold a dog in your hand, looking all screwed up, with a big Kool-Aid smile on the big on the CNN news, don't mean you're a dog man. You know, it just mean them people messed up, put you on the news, and now they won't mess up again. See, like we like we like all us brothers said before, there was a reason dark society was so loose. There was a reason he was speaking so uh crazy and so recklessly, and it seemed like he was just trying to um like trying to uh, entrap you saying something, basically. Make you say something. Uh, get you to say something you don't want to see. Say, rather. Get you to indulge in a conversation you don't want to indulge in. You know, I seen that on Dark Society. You know, and then all of a sudden, when that junk popped off, he talking about, don't do me like this. This and that and this and that. And blah, 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 blah. 
So I know he looking at it now, you know. And like I told you, Dark Society, I know your old lady sitting right there, you know. But you jumped the box. But the thing was, you came to the box for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? You came to the box for a purpose. And the thing is, everybody not ignorant, fam. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not dumb. Everybody not uh stuck on stupid like you is. You know what I'm saying? And, and shout out to your brothers going hard. Shout out to your brothers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to your brothers. Still rocking that basement. Can't tell a brother nothing good. Nothing he can get by with today in today's time, September 2023. Can't tell a brother nothing he can get by with today. You know, like I said, salute the Scratch Line News with that May 2 stuff. Because when I mention that stuff, my brother, you know, what I got to realize is other brothers got them dogs and they did great things with them. When I was talking about it, I was talking about it with those particular folks. You know what I'm saying? So no disrespect to you, fam. You know, if you ever hear me mention it in the future, there ain't no disrespect to you. One thing about it, these brothers got to stop taking credit for dogs and stuff they didn't make happen. Just because, and like I said, they're going back to these online pairs. Now, that's just like me selling Sambo to somebody. And then I go to online pairs and rig up the whole pedigree to look like I, my dog is still say Pelican Bay Sambo. After they made that breeding three generations after I done got rid of the dog. It still say Pelican Bay Sambo because I done went up there and made a pedigree to make it say it. You know, I can't find all the war kennel. So instead of saying all the war, it's going to say Pelican Bay's right there. You know what I'm saying? All the war might be out the game. All the war could be uh, gone with nobody could contact. And all of a sudden, I'm going to put Pelican Bay instead of all the war right there to make it look good for the modern day time. You know what I'm saying? But when you get that ADBA paper, it's going to tell you what it is. Or when you get that bona fide paper, it's going to tell you what it is. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, you know, the cowards jump the box. And, and the ones with no kind of uh, content, no kind of knowledge when it comes to these dogs, they got knowledge. But not knowledge to lead you on to the uh, right path. You know what I'm saying? Only knowledge to, to just lead you to destruction. You know? And like I said uh, last night, you know, to the brother Willie Pope. You know, when you say the word contradiction, understand what you're saying. That's what makes me understand you dog brothers. Not all of y'all, just a small few of y'all do not have common sense. Do not have school book smarts. You just dropped out of school. You should have stayed your ass in school. Now you're getting up here and want to talk about stuff and say things and thinking just because I've been through the streets, I don't know how to comprehend. I've been to school. I learned and I listened when I was in school. You know what I'm saying? And like I told you before, Willie Pope, contradiction. I'm going to explain it to my brothers who may not have looked at the live. He said, I, I'm always talking about dope and dogs and all that and stop this and that. Uh, yet, yeah, I'm contradicting myself because... I sold, do I sold dope and I got busted fighting dogs. He said, I'm contradicting myself. There's no way I can contradict myself off of past actions. Contradict only goes towards the future, Willie Pope. If I'm doing the same thing in the future, it contradicts what I'm speaking about now, Willie Pope. Let me give you a definition because you didn't want to listen to that teacher in the school, apparently. You know what I'm saying? You know, you didn't want to listen to the teacher. So I'm going to explain it. Like I said, the past is what I was doing. How can you contradict it? Because I say, don't jump off. Don't, like I told them boys last night, don't jump off the edge. Don't jump off the edge. Don't jump off the edge. But then if I'm telling you that and it's hard, if it's hard on the bottom, and then you see me go back to the edge again and jump off, that's contradicting. That's contradicting your statements. And see, the thing, when I say that, that don't bother, bother brothers who really get money, who just know some of the stuff that I'm saying may be right. It don't bother brothers who win the game. It don't bother none of them. It only bothers certain people when I say that. You know, the ones who, who, who really, we call them corner ornaments. They just in a way, you know, they out there in the way of the folk getting money. Now, let's look at this right here, my brothers and sisters. Y'all remember clear as day, Dark Society was trying to give me a puppy. Don't you know how fast them folk would have came to my dogs if he would have gave me that puppy? 
knowing that he only he up he on these videos talking crazy talking about this talking about that talking about this oh he don't want you to buy it you don't gotta buy it all you gotta do is accept it have it on your yard have it in your 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 possession you know all you gotta do is have that dog in your possession knowing you got it for fighting um from fighting uh however you know and that's why i tell y'all brothers you know what i'm saying be careful watch who you're dealing with you know what I'm saying? Because Dark Society was trying to railroad, rig everything up when it comes to the dog shows and dog talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who he involved with, but he involved with something serious. You know what I'm saying? It is, is what it is. Like I tell them brothers every day, and that's what I preach about. Don't be going out here. Right now, if you're looking at this video, it means you got a chance to, to change and make another decision. You know? You ain't got to go out there and do that, that the stupid thing that's going to lead you to where you got to uh, be pressured to do this or do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do it. You know. Um, and the thing about it, man, brothers get mad. It's like you get mad to see somebody telling you that you something you already know is is, is wrong. Like you rather just wake up and look at the news and look at somebody else going down for the dogs in actuality you know a lot of y'all you know would it would have been in the blind for the last two years when it come to them dogs you know what i'm saying if you know you wouldn't have the dog news and the dog tv but it just is what it is and like i said from day one the, the now you know what i'm saying the thing is to see how uh wicked this thing is out here to see how uh, rough this thing is out here and decide whether you trying to be part of that or you trying to be part of the smooth sailing on the other side you know what i'm saying because hey it is what it is man uh only books you're safe with is richard stratton and adba gazettes and stuff like that man nobody trying to be part of all that stuff man you know what i'm saying it is is what it is and, and the thing about it everybody don't be in that situation to where they could try to help a person out in the in the dog situation. At least a lot of people don't want to step up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers don't want to step up and say, yo, man, don't, don't make this move like this. Don't make this move like that. Instead of saying that, they want to tell you, go test everything. Got to check this. You got to check that. And in the meantime, you remembering what they said. Now you out there trying to check your dang on dog. And now you on the PBK9 dog news accidentally. Because, you know, I'm just getting the news as soon as it come out. I'm not even knowing that this is somebody I may know. Because you done took the wrong information, you know, from the wrong seller. When I say seller, I don't mean seller. I mean seller like basement. From the wrong basement. You took the wrong information from the wrong basement. You know? Getting that information from the basement got you hiding in the attic. While everybody else in the middle of the house. Chilling. With the dogs. You know what I'm saying? It is, is what it is, man. It is, is what it is. Like I told Dark Society... And his homeboys before, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. And the thing about it, what what steam your, uh, see, I know what steam dark society. I know what steam him because we all come to the conclusion that he was trying to uh, get, get people in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Because he was too loose with everything. That's why when you see a person moving like him, you know it's an ulterior motive to what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? What he was doing is like saying, oh, man, let's go out here and shoot these people. Let's go out here and do this. Let's go out here and do that. Let's go out here and do this. Enticing people to do stuff. Oh, man, let's go. I got I I got, got, I got this. I got that. I got the guns. I got the bullets. Let's go. Oh, look, look, look. We're going to do it with. Look, we're going to do it with. We're going to do it with this. We're going to. Listen, here, man. Seen it all too before, you know? And then you run crying when them people put your picture up there accidentally. Oh, like, and trying to hope that junk slip by without any, any dog brother seeing it. You know, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, and let me tell y'all, brothers, what Dark Society text me. He, he in one of his texts, he said he want his dog. Now, only thing I can get from that is a sound like jealousy to me. He want his dog. 
Sound like jealousy to me. You know? See, the things people say sometimes just make you see where their intellect at. You know what I'm saying? Where they head at when it comes to certain things. You know? Um, like, I don't know about these brothers, man. I don't know. Like, I don't believe the dog game. I don't believe the street game. Just because you did something to a, and, and they made a news clipping to, 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 to put somebody else in danger, these brothers think, I don't know what these brothers think. That's why I'm a YouTuber. These brothers think they the only ones ever did something when it comes to anything. The dogs, the streets, the money, the whatever. You know? So when you make these threats and you make these promises and you make this, this and that and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Just remember that a lot of people you talk to in them with the same things you be with. But now, let's go to another dog fighting situation. Actually, it ain't a dog fighting situation. We got another rescue that been busted. She got dead dogs in the freezer. Malnutritious dogs everywhere and all of them pit bulls. You know what I'm saying? All of them pit bulls ain't going to talk too much about this. Let's go straight to the video. The Seminole County Animal Shelter is giving us a first-hand look at some of the animals rescued from one woman's home. Police said more than two dozen animals were found inside, including dogs, cats, and birds. Police say many of them were in cages without food or water. Animal remains even found in bags in a shed. Police say they were called to the home along Ballard Street yesterday after getting a request from Animal Services. 36-year-old Tanya Gross was arrested. New 6's Ezzy Castro was in the courtroom this afternoon where Gross faced a judge. Altamont Springs police tell us that they have responded to several calls in the past at Tanya Gross's home. However, it wasn't until yesterday that they made the discovery when they showed up at her doorstep. You're charged in five counts. Tanya Gross appearing before a Seminole County judge this afternoon. A 36 year old is facing several animal cruelty charges after police say dozens of animals were seized from her home. Investigators say many were malnourished and living in filth. Some were even dead. My sister and my mother walk around the block every day and they kept smelling the, the dead smell. Over 40 animals were taken to the Seminole County shelter, which officials say is already at capacity. Unfortunately, our shelter was uh, already 45 animals over capacity. This, uh, of course, created an additional capacity issue. Emergency manager Alan Harris showed us some of the dogs to give us an idea of just how much they are in need of care. What we're asking for is if anyone is uh, considering adopting an animal, this may be the opportunity to come down to Central <laughs> County Animal Services and adopt an animal. Harris says that if you wish to help and you want to adopt, they have information on the county website. As for Gross, the judge says that she's not allowed to go back to her home until the investigation is over. She's also not allowed to have any pets in her possession. In Seminole County, Ezzie Castro getting results new six. Like they say, the rescues is the modern day cover up for all kind of fraudulent activity, government funds. They try to say the rescues are the cover up in the pit bull game, but no, the rescues is getting fraudulent funds. You know, that's what they're doing. They're not covering up in the pit bull game. The rescues is getting opening up these rescues, getting whatever government funds and whatever they can get off having a non profit organization. You know. It is what it is. Got to call it like you call it. You know, got to call it like you call it. And the way them dogs look. But they weren't talking nothing about dog fighting. They were just saying animal cruelty or whatever. Um, you know, I was just wondering, would, would another person have animal cruelty or whatever charges without dog fighting if it was another person? But it is, it is what it is. You can't worry about what if. You got to go about what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, and next, we're going to talk about how Michigan is trying to do a ban on the pit bull as well. Uh, we're going to have a, I'm going to show you a video clip from that. Um, um, and they're basing their banning on dog attacks. They're not basing on dog fighting. They're basing it on actual attacks to human beings. 
in that area. Uh, must be a real bad, you know, area for far as Michigan wise, far as getting attacked by dogs. And this is a case where all the dogs are going to be in one bracket, and they're going to say the bully, the pit bull, the XL, the pocket pit might be the only one that may be that may be ex- excluded from this because of just because you can look at that dog and see he can't do nothing, you can barely even walk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all the rest of the bull breed dogs, as far as the pit bull looking dogs, will fall in that same bracket if they ban pit bulls. You know, um, because a lot of the pit bulls don't even look like pit bulls, and you have dogs that's not even pit bulls that look more like pit bulls than the real pit bulls. You know, so that's crazy. When and and, and like, I'm almost certain you can take uh. A box of bread dog or bulldog bread dog and breed it with something else, uh, or like a, some type of hunting dog, and it's gonna look like a pit bull, you know. So uh, at the end of the day, a pit bull is what you say it is. Only thing that verifies a pit bull it is what it is, you know, is pretty much the papers, you know, because you know the thing about a pit bull and. The, what I was saying that I liked about the pit bull so much is because there's no specific standard for the dog. So the dog can look like this and the dog can look like that. And both of them dogs is full-blooded pit bulls. One and, and the dogs don't look one of the dogs look like a pit, but the other dog look like a like a like a hound dog. Or like a uh some type of retriever or a setter or something. You know, it just it's so many different ways a pit bull can look. And not be a pit bull. And it's kind of really going to discriminate. And only say. The dogs that we talking about. Are the ones who specifically. Look like pit bulls. Box face ones. You know with the ears a certain way. Um, you know it just. It's going to lead to a lot of. Um, a lot of. Picking on dogs. That look a certain ways. And not necessarily be certain ways. But yeah let me let y'all get into that video man. Michigan dog band. Council members in Gross Point Shores approving a ban on pit bulls. This stems from a violent attack back in June. Residents on both sides of the issue had a chance to voice their opinions during public comment. More than 300 people signed pen to paper opposing such a ban, with some calling the breed ban discrimination, while many voiced their opposition. Tonight, some spoke in support of the ban. I don't think it's a pit bull problem. It's a ferocious dog problem. Pit bulls are very aggressive dogs. They need expert training, and most residents don't know how to handle a dog of that nature. I support the ban on pit bulls in Gross Point Shores. City Council voted 4-3 to three passing the ordinance. The new ordinance does not impact those who already own a pit bull. Yeah, man, yeah. I ain't going to hold y'all here too long today, man. Just give y'all some of that dog talk and dog news. You know what I'm saying? We went there with Dark Society when that old French Lauren Brown. Where you went at, fam? <laughs> you know? Where you went at? You know I done did my homework. You know? Old French Lauren Brown. French Swan or whatever you call it. However you want to pronounce it. You know? Where you at, fam? You know? I wanted to get an interview with you if you don't mind. If y'all see Dark Society out there. Y'all let him know PBK now is trying to get an interview. You know, we want to ask him about the dog game, some of his dog stories, and about some of this stuff that's going on in the dog game, you know, uh, and his opinion on it, you know what I'm saying? I uh, like to have everybody's opinion on things, you know, and saying that uh, Dark Society spent some time with us, you know, uh, I feel like it's only right if he give us a good interview. You know, we want to know about Hitman and Hitler, for one. War Eagle, Mr. War Eagle, too. And we want to know uh, about the Indianapolis thing that was going down. And we want to know how you got the how you got the media to have a blackout in South Carolina. Between you and the boys in the Carolina Classic. Yep. Them boys dropping plea deals like a mug. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You better stop doing all that stuff you're doing. Then you get up here, look at my channel, then you go try to tell them to keep the news off. Keep the news off. Man, listen here, man. Like I told y'all boys, 
And like I told you, I've been talking that news before the Carolina Classic even kicked off. You know what I'm saying? They had plenty of time to listen to my news talk, my dog talk. You know? Want to plan a 10-man show, 15-man show, nobody damn cooking. I already knew y'all fucking up. All them folk over there, nobody cooking. Man, shit. Ain't nothing but a problem waiting to happen. Backyard boogie, like I told y'all. You know, backyard boogie. They was having a Super Bowl. They was having a Super Bowl over some illegal shit in the middle of the city. See, they ain't tell y'all boys that. They probably had, it was on the outskirts somewhere in the country area, you know, but it was in the middle of the city. Every place they named from that Carolina Classic is considered city area in South Carolina. Columbia, Rock Hill, all them areas considered city areas. You know, they hit a few other little towns and stuff like that as well. But hey, it just is what it is, man. It is what it is. A lot of brothers get his dog game a bad name. You know, get his dog game a bad name. But it is what it is. Like I always say, man. It's your boy, PBK9s. Let y'all check some of them yellow dogs out. How them yellow dogs look on my side. Yes, sir. A dog does off a of buddy. And the back. For, for y'all that know about that buddy dogs, that's one off buddy right there. Young Jip. Nice prospect Jip. Let y'all see another buddy. She off buddy as well. See? Grand champion yellow blood. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. All big John, little John stuff. Let's walk over here. Another buddy male. Big John, little John. Now this little bitch right here, I want to say this is a Jeep bitch right here. This bitch here got some Jeep in her. Uh, Y'all can see that in the face right there. Yep. That's that white tab all in the face. I ain't sure what. I got to go look at the pedigree real quick. I'll go look at the pedigree and get out a pair. But this the only one that's not a big John dog. This is a Jeep dog. Jeep and uh, I have to check. I'll, get, I'll let y'all know what this is. But nice acting female. See, what y'all don't know about the bay, man. PBK nines. We give it to you. Yes, sir. But I ain't gonna keep y'all here too long. I appreciate all the brothers that's rocking with me and sisters that's rocking with me down in the chat. Salute to you. Y'all have a great night, great day. You know, um, it just depends on where you stay at. You know, hit that like button before you get up out of here. Don't forget to hit it now. Don't forget to hit it. Drop down in the comments if you ain't been up in the chat. You know, drop down in them comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to donate to the channel. If you want to donate to the channel, dollar sign, Pelican Bay Kennel, you know. PBK9s, y'all have a good day.